Good day and welcome to my take on Vakil Saab. The Telugu movie Vakil Saab obviously is making a lot of news both at the box office and with the fans of power star Pavan Kalyan. Resultantly, this review of mine of the film Vakil Saab is going to be from three different dimensions. The first is from the layer of the Pavan Kalyan, the Pavan Kalyan fan following, etc., etc. Second, the film, and finally, the obvious compare with its original Hindi version, Pink. My flow may not be necessarily in the same order, but these would be the three layers by which I would look at the film. To those who came in late, Vakil Saab is an adaptation of the Amitabh Tapsi's Vinastara, Pink. The famous line, no means no, that almost became the lingua franca in the world analyzing sexual offenses, made such an impact through the film that Pink became almost a watershed cinema in the last few years of our Bollywood cinematic history. The story deals with three young vibrant girls in a urban lifestyle. Our Telugu filmmakers had to take a connect to a rural backdrop to justify, to prop up their characters, wonder why. Three girls headed by uh, Niveta Thomas alongside uh, Anjali and Ananya Nagala constitute the three girls which in uh, the earlier version had uh, Tapsi, Kriti and Andrea. Three girls go out, a one night disaster at a resort with, in this story, Niveta banging the head of the villain played by Vamshi and how it comes to haunt her, her life, is what the story is all about. A good part of the story goes when uh, she is accused of attempt to murder and grievous hurt and is brought to court and she is defended by the protagonist in the film, the lawyer. And it goes without saying that finally she is going to win this battle and uh, the indulgent boys coming from influential families are called upon to pay the price. A very linear story, reminiscent of the kind of films that uh, B.R. Chopra made in Saab Katarazu comes to mind. What makes this film very contemporary is a lot of references or referral points to contemporary happenings, including the reference to the Nirbhaya Act. And how probably a social look at women has changed, but hasn't changed enough. The props of uh, men and families in and around where they live, looking at girls who come home late as bad girls, those kind of props are thrown into the story to get it into what we would call mainstream and the story deals largely, in fact most part of the post uh, interval is at the court and how they go about establishing that the girls were not at fault and the guys were. This is basically the film. Cinematically, it must be said to the credit of Venu Sri Ram, who has also done the script for the film that he does something definitely better than the average Telugu film one gets to see. But this is not enough, wait a minute, I am not giving him all the points he, he, he would garner to or earn. Primarily because he had an opportunity of making a masterpiece. But then, I guess uh, 
द प्रॉब्लम विद वकील साहब इज द प्रॉब्लम विद तेलुगु सिनेमा द स्टार इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द फर्म नॉट द स्क्रिप्ट नॉट द स्टोरी नॉट द ट्रीटमेंट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट वेन यू चूज पवन कल्याण एज योर सेंट्रल कैरेक्टर you are assume that you will have to make a lot of compromises because you have taken a star who is still at that threshold or at the cusp of his career where he hasn't given up his star pretensions he is still the youngster the actor the fighter the romantic romantic guy all these elements will have to creep into a script even if as a protagonist he is a losing lawyer or fighting lawyer or a lawyer of the underdog this not withstanding all these aspects will have to come into the story the compulsions of having to use curry leaves in a biryani is the problem that the film maker has and then shri ram succumbs so effortlessly and the end result is that the film turns out to be a pot boiler instead of turning out to be a telugu masterpiece this is where you compare venu shriram with aniruddha roy chowdhury's the pink also the no compromise or minimal compromise script with which the pink is made contrasts with vakil saab where there is romance shruti hasan is brought in for a romantic angle for a role as big as dia mirza the other day in wild cat and completely avoidable to show that he is the voice of the downtrodden how he has helped the poor people some melodrama from the downtrodden coming and shouting and asking for support all this which could surely be done away with are added as if they are necessary for making the film as if they are necessary for the audience to accept and understand the film now this is an insult on the intelligence of the film go on venu shri ram could well have avoided all this i'm going to compare niveta thomas with tapsi tapsi was making a very important career move when she did the pink and she turned up a brilliant performance in the film i must say that niveta thomas blame it on the script blame blame it on her blame it on the director i don't know but the end result if she does not garner the empathy that tapsi got with so much of approval from the general public therefore somewhere vakil saab is not pink and how i wish to the director the sentence amita abused in pink no means no went right into his head in fact in his own film there's an interesting scene he uh, the protagonist namely uh, satyadev that is pavan kalyan has a clean uh, trims his beard takes the dust off all his books and comes in if only the film maker could do this to his approach to cinema trim his negatives dust the collective props of cinema i think vakil saab would have been closer to pink well how do you talk about the protagonist roles after all piyush mishra you don't compare with prakash raj having said this prakash raj does come up with a decent performance every time he errs it is obviously an error consciously done at the instance of the script or the film maker otherwise a blameless performance very subdued by his standards pavan kalyan kalyan pavan kalyan you don't analyze him as an actor you only see is he catering to the demands of his whistling audience of course he does that is what the box of his results suggest bidding careless goodbye to contemporary requirements huge crowds 
are in theaters watching the power star coming back with a bang. And with a bang, he enters the screen even in this film. And therefore, without even attempting the contrast between Pavan Kalyan and Amitabh Bachchan, and without going the road, Pavan Kalyan's fans have enough and more to be happy about when they watch Vakil Sa. Therefore, please, if you are a Pavan Kalyan fan, of course go and see the movie. If you are a guy with an open mind, do see the movie from a Telugu viewer's view point, you will surely understand that it is a far better film than what you would get normally from Tollywood. But if you are carrying the pink load on your head, please take it off if you can and watch this film otherwise. If you are going to watch it and compare with pink, you are going to come out disappointed and with the same kind of angst that the helpless Amitabh Bachchan had as Deepak Segal in the film. But you don't want to be Deepak Segal, you want to be Satyadev, then certainly you would enjoy Vakit Saab. I sign off with uh, customary acknowledgements to Abhinav, my editor, and Dattu, my director and cameraman. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.